Hi, and welcome to this walkthrough of Career World and Life Agent. In this walkthrough, I will show you how to integrate Life Agent with Career World, how to start Life Agent from Career World, and vice versa. Best thing is, I will show you how to send data from Career World to Life Agent. It will be an extensive demo going through the integration of Live Agent on your website, but also how to start Live Agent from Career World. We'll start on the side of Live Agent and their integration. It starts with um, the script code you normally get from Live Agent when you start the live chat. We will manipulate this code uh, on a few places. Basically, how to start the, the way it starts via a button. Um, what it should do when you close the live agent, basically start CurioBot, but also how to send data forward from CurioBot to live agent. If we start with the normal uh, code you get from a uh, live agent, you will see that you need to change it in two spots. Basically, it is variable declaration and saying that the start of the uh, live agent goes to a button. This command you can use to start the chat, and this we will add to CurioBot. The start and close events, of which we will only use the close events, because basically that's where you add the start CurioBot code. Then lastly, um, sending data forward to live agents. Um, live agents offers a few commands, of which I will add, uh, sorry, or use live agent add ticket field and live agent add contact field. So what does that look like in your code? Basically, if you combine those, this is a script code of live agent, where you have this variable declaration, where you have this chat button that contains the actual widget, and where we have a function that declares what to do uh, when you close the live chat, which is CurioBot show frame. That's it. Below you see a Google Tag Manager integration. This is what I use to start the CurioBot. So if we now go to um, our CurioBot implementation, you will see a simple bot here with a few steps, name, email, and starting the live chat. In this bot, I have declared a few variables. The first name, the email, and the data, the data is basically just the button that is pushed when you start the live chat, but it's for uh, demo purposes. So if we go back to the bot, this is the name, this is the email, and this is the start of the live chat. You will notice that developer mode was turned on. This is needed because I need to add some script code. Here and here. In the script code, I first start um, live, uh, live agent at user detail, email, and the email variable, uh, first name, and the first name variable, and ticket field, cubing data, data. Please note that this ticket field has to be added manually to your live agent account. It's described on that page on the link below this video. Um, next to that, we need to start the live agent, which is jetbutton.unclick, which was shown on the uh, button page. If we execute this, go back to the bot. So this is the bot. What is your name? Career bot. What is your email address? Test careerbot.com, and then start the live chat. If I now click this, you will see on the right side of the screen the start of the live chat. So if I switch to the back office of Live Agent, you will see test at CurioBot, proving that data was sent forward. I'm sitting in the Netherlands. And if I look at the data, you will see that the QB data contains the data that was in, in the button. And of course, you can make that as extensive if you want. And here I can say hi. And we go back to the chat see hi and hi. If I now close this one, because I also declared that, thank you, you will see that career bot will start again. Um, it can continue where you left off or um, if it was still halfway through, um, but as I configured a exit right here, it will start again. That's it. That's how you integrate Live Agent with CareerBot. Thank you.